Hey there guys and some very interesting news has just dropped regarding FIFA 17, the presentation, the authenticity, new stadiums and graphics and also a really epic new chant that will be in the game. The biggest news we've all been waiting on is the new demo. It's not been released yet though. As soon as the FIFA 17 demo comes out guys I will most likely stream it, that is if it's out tonight. Anyway on to the new news. As you can see there in FIFA 17 on all consoles we're adding a new layer of presentation detail to make your match day experience even more authentic authentic and immersive than ever before. There will be three new stadiums in FIFA 17, there will be West Ham's Olympic Stadium which is so cool, you've got Middlesbrough's Riverside Stadium in the BPL and then also you've got the Gamba Osaka Suta City's Football Stadium. At a first glance that looks very promising in terms of the graphics there, it looks real. The most interesting part though about this new presentation is this next bit here which looks really amazing. The FA Cup will now have its own full and authentic overlay package in FIFA 17. So you guys remember how they have had the Bundesliga in the past, they've now got La Liga, and also I think the Premier League in last year's FIFA 16, they had really cool presentation which made it feel like you're watching it on TV. Well now they've got the FA Cup which I think is the, yeah, the oldest um, football competition ever. And it says there, this will reflect the competition's real world broadcast package, meaning you'll be able to feel the magic of the cup in every FA Cup match you play. So this is really nice and to me that looks awesome. I like new stuff and we've got some new things there. Just below the new FA Cup presentation there, it does say the following. EA are going to be adding a number of pitch props and stadium dressings used before, during and after games to mirror the real world match day experience and these include tunnel archways, handshake sponsor boards, ball plinths, pitch flags, pyrotechnics, confetti cannons, home team corner flags, and goal net stanchion colours based on stadium. I mean, that's cool, man. It's new things. You can't really complain about that. Very cool and um, to see these new kind of items in the game to make it even more realistic than we've seen before. And new animations have also been captured for pre-game, half-time, and full-time, resulting in smoother am animation and more polished camera coverage. There is also new in-match performance analysis on FIFA 17. As you can see there, it does say, shot and touch information for key attackers will now be tracked in each match. You'll see this info displayed on a graphic during matches with commentators picking up stories to discuss the narrative of the match and the performance of the players involved. So that's really nice. New graphic there, as you can see there, it's got like a diagram of Marco Royce's like um, performance in the game. So that's really nice. I like that a lot. And all of these new features though will really improve the game. These little things, it, it is the little details that really make it a giant leap forward from last year's FIFA. I really feel like this will help the game out a lot. Uh, moving on after Royce though, we go to the in-match table analysis. New in-game commentary and analyzing key talking points around league tables and cup standings make the football world deeper and more compelling than ever. Matches will take on an even greater sense of importance as you hear commentators discuss six pointers, surprise packages, title decides, group of death and much more via the new in-match overlays and audio so that's really nice as well. The journey also has specific commentary. In FIFA 17 you'll hear new commentary lines tracking various storylines which impact upon Alex Hunter. I've said this before though I can't wait more so until the next FIFA for the journey because I think in that FIFA you'll actually be able to um, customize your own character like you can in NBA so yeah I can't wait for that, but still, I'm very excited about this journey. It's the first time we've seen something like this in FIFA. Uh, but yeah, they, these include key milestones, matches against rival players, and key loans and transfers which directly affect Hunter's progression in the game. Now on to, for me, the most exciting part of this video in terms of the new news from EA Sports. We've got the new Icelandic chant will be in the game. Two new PA announcers will bring the game to life, including goal scorers and lineups, while they'll add over 500 new chants, making FIFA 17 Team's crowds the most vibrant and dynamic to date. New additions this year include the Icelandic chant and many new high quality chants from La Liga, Premier League and Championship clubs alongside the iconic Hala Madrid anthem. I'm still waiting to hear if they've got the famous Will Griggs song. This is the Icelandic chant. <laughs> There's also new player emotions. We've added a greater variety and quality in reaction animations in FIFA 17. You now see your players respond with even more realistic emotion to the agony of missing a golden chance or the glory of winning a title. And you've also got the final part here, guys, of this news video for you, which says authentic manager focus. At various times during the FIFA 17 broadcast, we will now focus on authentic managers who you'll see react to bookings, missed scoring opportunities, great saves and goals. So these are really nice 
little details here that they're adding to the game. I'm happy with this, for sure. I like that little di diagram there with Marco Royce, and it just looks cool. It looks like real life um, in terms of the broadcast itself, and I really do dig this um, FA Cup broadcast as well. Really, I'm liking that a lot. For me, though, the graphics in terms of stadiums are on point for sure. And yeah, if the FIFA 17 demo comes out tonight, guys, I will stream it on YouTube. So yeah, leave a like for more news videos, and I can't wait to hopefully stream later.